Yeah, Jenny, they want to help. They know where help is most needed, but anytime someone's looking to go on a mission trip, they've got to weigh the risks, but the outbreak of this deadly virus is at the point where people and supplies cannot get there safely. Right here is the, the huge pile of our, in, our intake, um, and it's pretty rough. Uh, until the volunteers start going through it all. Interval sends help to people who need it most. They go all over the world, but right now, West Africa's off limits. Certainly with uh, a epidemic like Ebola, uh, it's an entirely different situation. Nicole Jones says it's too dangerous to send doctors and volunteers into the epicenter of the outbreak, but the nonprofit organization has the resources that could save hundreds, if not thousands of lives, those are also stuck here. I mean, it is a struggle because, you know, we have an abundance. We have, you know, crates of masks and surgical supplies, um, you know, bandages, gowns, all those things. Once these medical supplies are checked out of inventory, they can't be used again. So hospitals and doctor's offices can either throw them away or donate them. Here, they pile up pretty quickly, but just to ship a 44-gallon container to West Africa, that would cost $15,000. I would love to get them to them, uh, but a lot of right now there's a lot of hurdles and things uh, in the way. Money is one thing, but even with the funding, finding a company to ship the supplies is going to be the real challenge. Major airlines have suspended flights to and from parts of West Africa. We can stop the spread. We just got to make sure those practices are top notch and iron tight. Senator Chuck Schumer says more travel restrictions could be put in place. We just continue to get uh, shipments ready. At Interval, Jones says there's no winning. Precautions to protect people in the states could also prevent help from getting to the people who need it most. Interval is trying to work around those travel restrictions to get supplies out there, contacting friends of friends who are in Kenya, setting up a line of supply. But again, this is really a tricky situation for all of the groups trying to help. Jenny? All right. Thank you, Rachel. 13 Wham's Rachel Glazer learned tonight how Ebola concerns may be impacting efforts to get needed supplies to those areas hit hard. They want to help. They have the supplies. So why not? Well, you know, a lot of times they go out there. They send doctors and volunteers. We're at a point with this virus where it is just not safe to have people going out there. And uh, no one wants to go out there right now. So you have some of the travel restrictions are impacting this. And then delivery companies to take all of these supplies, they're not really willing to go out there either. So they're trying to find these workarounds to find people in other parts of Africa to kind of funnel this up. But right now, no one wants to get close to West Africa. And that must be very frustrating for an agency like Interval, yes. formed on the basis to help third world countries. Right, and you can tell that they're torn. Their instinct is, let's go, let's help, let's get these supplies there no matter what. But, you know, they're risking their lives, and there's always risks no matter where they go. But this is definitely an extreme situation, and they also have to think, what if they get out there and then you know, there's more travel restrictions, they can't come back. Or what if they go out there and then they get sick? Or what if they go out there and then they bring it back with them? So the, the implications of them going to help others you outweigh, um, you know, the, the they're weighing their risks right, right now. So it's a struggle. So they're trying to find another way in through other countries at this point. <laughs> mm -hmm. They have a friend of a friend of a friend in Kenya that they're trying to get a hold of to see if that can be their line of supply. And there's expiration dates on all of these medical supplies, That's the other thing. too. They, you know, it costs like $15,000 to ship these crates. And say it gets caught up in customs, it doesn't make it there. They have an expiration date, and the second it expires, nothing can be used. And we're talking about very basic things. That's what's so frustrating. Gloves, masks, gowns, uh, bedding. That is what will prevent the spread of this disease and save so many lives, and we have an abundance of it here, right. and we, they can't get it there. Very sad. All right, thank you, Rachel.